right, what's up everybody? David here and I'm back with another Blu-ray Buyer's Guide. Today we're going to be taking a look at the various versions of one of my favorite movies of last year, and that's La La Land. Um, first up, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the 4K version here. This one I already unboxed in a previous video. You can check out that video um, if you'd like. So we'll, we'll just, I mean, I'll go ahead and open it up real quick. We'll just kind of skim through it. Uh, as you can see there, it does have 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital HD copy. Uh, three hours of special features. And then... There goes the back there as well. All right. Let's see that. All right, let's go ahead and pop this open real quick so you can take a look at it once again. All right. There goes the Blu-ray copy, the, the 4K copy here. Same same disc art, which, again, I, I stated in the, the last video, that was, I guess, probably the only disappointment about this release uh, was that they, they kind of kept the same disc. And I'm, I'm going to assume that it's going to be the same throughout throughout all these other versions as well. Um, but so there goes, again, the 4K copy. All right. And then next up is uh, the Walmart exclusive for La La Land. So you can see there, only at Walmart. It includes an extra disc with 30 minutes of exclusive bonus content. All right. Now, I love this cover. I love this cover so much. It looks so cool. Kind of has the, the sophisticated look to uh, Ryan Gosling and, uh, and Emma Stone there. And it's kind of it, semi-reflective. Really cool shine to it, which is really neat. And then also the, the words La La Land, they're embossed here. So they're raised just quite a bit. I don't know if you can tell. Right there, you can probably see it. So that's embossed. Really cool. Now... I really wish that they would have put these stickers some at least at least this one, the Walmart one. They would, maybe they could have put it like down in the corner or even in the back. Even though I'm not a fan of that either, but um, back is pretty much the same as as uh, the other one as well, like the 4K copy. Awesome, awesome slipcover. I love it, <clears throat> and I also love the fact that the slipcover and the and the actual art are the same. Um, Walmart failed to do that for, for their, well, I don't say Walmart failed to do that, but, uh, they failed to do that with the exclusive for Rogue One. Uh, Rogue One had the, the, um, that, that one, I guess the flip cover and then it was the same Blu-ray as, you know, as a standard one. So that was a little bit of a, of a disappointment. Um, let's go ahead and pop this open. Again, just great movie. Loved it so much. Love this art. I love this cover. Looks great. Love it so much. All right. Let's go ahead and pop this open. Stickers everywhere. Stickers, stickers, stickers. All right. All right. So it does come with digital copy. And then, all right. So here's the bonus DVD here. It does have uh, some more bonus features. 30 minutes extra, I believe, it said. And then there goes the DVD. I mean, the, the Blu-ray. And then the DVD version right here. Same same art, which is, uh, again, unfortunate. But it's such a great movie that, honestly, I don't care. All right. So not many, not many people like this movie. Uh, well, I, I'm not going to say not many because I've come across... Uh, Heck of a lot. They really love this movie a lot. Me included. This is, again, I, I love musicals, especially good ones like this one. Awesome. It has the, uh, you know, the old school style that I love so much, but just with a modern take on it. it. just It's so perfect to me, in my opinion. But, again, love this cover. This is the Walmart exclusive. Uh, this was 20 bucks. You know, uh, you can find that at, at all Walmarts. Um... I want to say that I did hear where somebody at some Walmart got, I guess, uh, it was priced at like 22 something like that. That shouldn't be the case. I, I would say if you see something like that, uh, then bring it up on your phone. You know, pull it up on your phone and then get them to price match to bring down the price or whatever. Because there's no sense in one Walmart having a $22 Blu-ray when every other Walmart is uh, 20 bucks. All right. <clears throat> but uh, next up is... The Target exclusive of La La Land. It does say only a Target 3 disc deluxe edition. This includes an extra disc 
with 30 minutes of exclusive bonus content. Now, I'm wondering if this disc that's in this Target exclusive is the same disc that's in this Walmart exclusive. Time will tell. All right, and then here goes the back here. And here they say Q&A with Emma Stone, writer-director uh, uh, Damien Chazelle, composer Justin Hurwitz, and producer Fred Berger. Now, okay, let me look at this one. This one just says, uh, okay, so it, I, it looks like it is different or could be different. It says, uh, this one just says Q&A with Golden Globe and Academy Award winner Damon Chazelle. Uh, this is, you know, the Walmart one has that. Uh, this one seems like it, the Q&A is with a couple more people. So that I'm, maybe it is different. I hope it is. That, that'd be awesome. So again, great cover, great slip cover. I love what they did with it. You know, and there's no, like, you know, blue bar across the top to, to kind of mess up the vibe of, uh, of this cover. And then, again, awesome job. They, they actually, you know, they did put the same artwork on the slipcover right there. So, great. Great job. Okay. Let's go ahead and pop this open as well. All right. So again, I, I, I think I've seen this movie probably about three times uh, already, and I'm most likely going to see it more because I'm going to want people that ha people around me that haven't seen this movie need to see this movie, and I'm, I will make them love this movie <laughs> if I have to. But, uh, all right, so it does come with a digital copy. And, okay, so it is different. There goes the bonus DVD here, and then the Blu-ray copy, and then the DVD right here as well. So that's cool. So it, it does have different different artwork. So that's, that's really neat. I like that they did that. Gives it some uh, some uniqueness to each copy. So that's great. I love again. I love this cover so much. This is this is again another favorite. Um, I, I you know when. I was thinking about doing this. Uh, I had stated in another video. I was like, I, they're, they're, I might possibly do a, a Blu-ray buyer's guide for La La Land. Uh, and then I started thinking about it. I'm like, well, you know what? I don't know if I should. But because it's not like a comic book movie. Or it's not a superhero movie. It's not a you know, Star Wars movie. But, you know, again, I love this so much. I'm kind of, in a way, just doing this one for myself. Doing this video for myself. Because, uh, you know, the, the covers that they have, they're so unique. And, and I love that they, they did this. Um, each cover has its own like awesomeness about it. You know what I mean? I, I don't know if you, if, if that's coming across <laughs> properly, but, uh, each cover is great. I love it so much. Um, last but not least is the Best Buy Steelbook for La La Land. And this one I love so much. This is probably a, a favorite. This is probably my, my favorite of the bunch. I think I have to say, um, just cause the, the, the artwork. If this artwork was on just a regular Blu-ray, I would probably love that one just the same as well. Um, it's great. Because um, there was like this, uh, this I, I don't want to say controversy, but when when they first showed the, the artwork for this one, a lot of people didn't like it because it came across as looking beige or like a yellowy kind of color. Um, and that kind of bummed me out too. I, I really liked you know, the photo, the artwork that they used for it, but the color, I wasn't too much of a fan of, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm glad it, it, you know, I was ecstatic whenever I saw this and I was like, Oh, it's white. It's white. It feels like just such a classic type of, you know, style for this steel book. I, I love it so much. So, uh, there goes the back there. If you want to check that out. This J card here off okay let's take that off make sure there's no glue on the back all right so again there goes the cover super super cool very much like this artwork here they just use that that photo and uh probably photoshopped it there so really cool all right and then here goes the back i love this i love this so much this is so perfect Here's to the fools who dream. That quote right there resonates with me so much. And I, I love it. 
I think that that's probably one of the, the reasons why I, I do like this movie so much. That it's uh, it, it's inspiring to a certain extent. You know what I mean? Um, it and it it has a love story in there that uh, you know I think people a- anybody could identify with at some point. But uh, let's go ahead and pop these this open. It does come have uh, does have a uh, the digital copy here? All right, and then there goes the Blu-ray and DVD. Right, and let's check out this interior artwork because you know, you guys know I am a fan of interior artwork. So perfect, man. That again, it, there's just something about the placement of of the way you know each of these uh, covers are, the way that they the actors are on the cover. You know, it's just they, they made the right choices in designing these covers, these slip covers, and things like that. And then this interior artwork just kind of seals the deal. It's just great. Awesome stuff. So yeah, there you have it. There's uh, four versions of La La Land to choose from. Which one are you going to be picking up if you have not picked one up already? Let me know in the comments below. So here we go. There's all four copies here. I Again, I'm, I'm extremely impressed with each of these. I really am. But if I have to pick a favorite, I am going to go with the Steelbook this time around. Um, normally, I think the last couple of videos, I, I have not picked the Steelbook, the Best Buy Steelbooks, uh, because Target, uh, you know, had a, a superior cover um, and superior, you know, release, superior version. Um, in this sense, in, the, in this one, this one right here gets me. This one seals the deal. This was my pick, the Best Buy Steelbook. They're still out there. Um, this, this one was $20 as well. So they're still out there. All of these were twenty dollars, I believe. Uh, they think this one was twenty-five, if I remember correctly. But there you have it. Again, all four versions. Uh, let me know in the comments below which one are you going to be picking up. All right, so give this video a big thumbs up if you found it informative in any way. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you guys have not already. And uh, real quick before I go, I just wanted to uh, to say that I, I was thinking about trying to do a Q and A video uh, because I, I get questions all the time. You know, uh, how do, how did you do this? How did you get started doing this? Um, you know, what, what's it like, you know, getting these movies and stuff like that. And I, I've been wanting to do one for a while. I just don't know exactly where to start with, with, with all the questions and things like that. So if you guys have a question, if you want to contribute to a and a video, then leave your question down below. Uh, start it off with like Q&A and then your question. That'll help me out to identify, you know, uh, if you want to be included in the video. That would be great. And you'll, I'll, I'll pop you in on the screen there as well. Uh, with the question so that way you get you guys get a little shout out too. You know what I mean? So anyway with all that being said we will catch you next time